When you inject it into a motor, you can add anywhere from 50 to 250 horsepower to the to some, a car that may only have 100 horsepower to begin with. But this is no laughing matter. Some hardcore street racers also install a plastic tank of jet fuel. In a crash, the cocktail of nitrous and jet fuel can turn a car into a fireball. We've got nitrous oxide, a non-certified plastic fuel cell, which is just your standard cheap plastic, and the battery. You were in that car, that's a bomb was waiting to go off. It's just like adding pure oxygen to a fire. So, late charges, late charges. With the task force determined to shut down the racers, Rob and Mike may be headed for a collision with the police. Just for information, I'm going to hike over to the uh, Texas pit and check that area out. The crackdown on illegal racers is having an effect. Worn down by relentless ticketing, the draggers abandon the Texas pit. Top dragger Mike Paligen has moved on to a safer haven, while Rob hangs out in a nearly empty lot. Huh? Okay, is there a race going on or what? Oh, that's just the one that's I got an itchy foot. Rob receives a tip about another hangout. With any luck, he'll find Mike there. Oh, it's so boring, there's nothing around. There are shop, there's another road up there. There's a lot of people up there in the Rexdale area. I don't know. I've never been there. Let's just face the facts about street racing. There's no rules. If you decided to build a 1.3, that's your problem. Now, now, if you come here and you want to race, pull beside. If you don't got enough, go home. That's it's simple. No, no, I got enough. Okay, don't worry about pull it. Beside. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. You're, you're just going to cry when you get pumped. That's hey, let's all. let's do it right now. <laughs> I'm going to do it now. I came here okay. just to see the atmosphere Make around sure here. You're right. Rob finds himself in hostile territory behind a factory. Be He's right. surrounded by some 300 draggers, but Mike isn't three among them. Three tires. Yeah. Bro, I race out here every night. No, no. I've never seen you in my life. So I got people to vouch that I'm going to be here. The racers argue about engine size, quarter mile times, and the rules of street racing. So then what are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of nothing. You got such a missile. 1290? Yeah. Oh, you're dead. Talk is cheap, buddy. We build whatever we want to build. If you think you've got enough. No, no, no. Although Mike Palagin isn't present, he casts a long shadow. What did Mike P run? 12-1 at the track? Mike P is nothing. Okay, but what did he run? 12 -1. That's nothing. You That's that car goes on the street. I have no idea. 50. Uh, maybe even 15s. I don't. Right. Know. I have no idea. I've never. The car? I've never seen him run the car in the have street. Have you raced the car in the street yet? Uh, okay. okay. All right. Rob leaves with a clear goal. Mike. Mike P. I don't know his last name actually. You know. Before this year ends, the season, I gotta beat him. It could be a street race, it could be anywhere. I don't care. Rob knows the one place he's sure to find Mike is at the Cayuga Speedway on Importe. Like the auto shows, official drag strips are a place where the legal and illegal racing worlds meet. A good official time slip at the track gives a racer bragging rights on the street. Okay, I got a ladder here for you. You're taking the top eight guys. Baker, Tellerico, Devine, Lisboa. Uh, Rob and Mike finally meet. Yep. But before Rob can race, his car must undergo an official inspection. The nozzle's in there, but there's no bottle. Rob has his own code of honor. He rarely street races with nitrous oxide, so he doesn't want a reputation as a user. <laughs> Why'd you put this for? There's none in it. You know what I'm trying to say? Regulations tell me I gotta put it on there because of the fire guy. When you have a problem down track, if ever, he goes to the automobile, he has to know if the car is nitrous equipped, whether there's a bottle in it or not. We don't leave it to change. There's nothing in the car. What do you think? I fell off a turnip cup sign? I've been doing this for 35 years. I'm an NHRA tech man. So why this is I an NHRA this? track. Where's nitrous coming from? The ground? No, the nitrous is coming from the bottle. Where's the bottle? I don't know. So why, why are you classing me as nitrous? Hold it. Where did you put the bottle? 
If he's labeled a nitrous user at the track, he'll lose his street credibility. Who are you trying to convince? We Me or the rest of these guys? No, no, it's a big thing, because I want to shop with this kind of stuff, and I don't want them to think that I'm using them on the street, uh, well, using a bottle of beef. Yeah, but the thing is, nitrous is part of cheating and being sneaky. You're right, but I don't really have to put it there, because you could put the bottle in there, and then I get in trouble, right? You're marking as nitrous? You didn't bring a bottle? You're on the scene with the spray, well, the spray. You need a couple of pets, big deal. Forget it, you'll pump them anyway. Pump them. Pump them. Not that, it's image, man, it's image. Hey, you think if I scrape that thing off, you think they'll know us? I don't know. Not right now. Later on, I'll do it. Finish note 1303 at 104. 1202 at 114 for season's job. While Rob worries about his image, Mike focuses on breaking the national record for imports. To prepare for his run, he heats up his tires to make them sticky for better traction. Racers call it hooking up. result, Mike has completed his run in 12.1 seconds, equaling his personal best. And only one hundredth of a second off the national record. His team is ecstatic. When you're at the track, you have no friends. You're out to beat number one, you have to beat whoever else is there. It doesn't matter, like, we've been in situations where we're almost at the brink of willing to blow the thing up just to be somebody. Mike's Super Civic puts Rob under a lot of pressure. He pulls up to the line. Rob runs the quarter mile in a disappointing 14.6 seconds. He realizes that to compete against Mike, he now needs to get his more powerful RX-7 on the road. I want to get my black one together. That car needs the most attention, and that's the least attention I've been giving that car. I figure another week... I should have everything back to normal. Then I'm going to come out against Mike, and I'm going to take him out on the street heads up. Because those Hondas on the street, turbocharged nitrous oxide, call it what you will. I don't, I don't care what he's got. On the street, they're nothing. On the track, they go well because they can hook up. But on the street, no chance. I don't know, man. Nobody knows what Rob's car is going to do. If they even have enough time to set it up right. Mike's car, you know, it's already set up and dialed in. It's a big crap shoot. If the police have their way, Rob will never get his chance to roll the dice with Mike Palagin. Uh, well, here's uh, this little beastie. This joint force uh, this summer, we've stopped over 1,600 cars and laid over 1,000 tickets. There's some areas that uh, at the beginning of the summer, there could be three, four, five hundred 500 people uh, waiting for a race to take place. You go there now or last weekend, there wasn't anybody there. They've gone somewhere else and we'll find it. The cops are keeping the pressure on, but Rob has his own plans. To avoid the police, the racers have found a new hangout. Mike Palagin and his brother are there, surrounded by admirers. Before challenging him, Rob decides to test out his RX-7 against easier competition, a blue Civic. You go, you go. Hey, so that Civic's got no NOS, right? The baby you blue go. Civic. Hey, you go. Where, down here? Where? We're going to race off the lights. We can watch it right here. All right. I'll tell you uh, what. I'll run the Civic. I'll run the Civic. When I get to the top of second, I'll start slowing down so we can catch up. Oh, my God. Okay, we'll run him now. You hear that, Mike? When he gets to the top of second, he's going to give up. A little over exaggeration, but hey. Oh. Okay, start the engines. Let's go. Let's see some racing. departure from the usual procedure, they recklessly race amid the traffic in front of the coffee shop. Despite his bravado, Rob loses. He tries to save face in front of Mike. You guys actually believe that I threw that to that guy in front of you guys? <laughs> no, you got nothing. You're a girl. Look at Last year, I was king. 